What's up, Rob? Thanks for coming in.
Wow, these are some really cooperative compressors. It's rare to see them pumping so nicely. Super clean. That's awesome.
I'm going to show you how to use the Renaissance AXX compressor from Waves. It's like a $20 compressor, but it sounds good on everything. It wasn't always $20, it's 20 bucks now. And like, basically it's just threshold and attack. It makes everything loud too, which is nice. There, now that track is super compressed and it's like done. And I'm done. I got a big game game knob. Yeah, I love it. I, it's made for guitars, but it sounds good on synths. It's like all synths and guitars, so basically it's like the meaty, the meaty boy. And then I always, almost always put an EQ after it because it gives it extra sub bass frequencies. Check out. This little guy.
Hey, Private Iron, thank you for that sub.
know what, folks? I think I'm going to call it for the stream. Live just a little over an hour. That's cool. We've been doing these little hour-long mixing sessions. Uh, my ears are telling me it's time for a break, so I'm going to take a break. But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, be sure you, I don't know, follow me if you want. You know me already. You already follow me. But yeah, put your Twitch to ding when I'm live because I'm just like going live randomly while I'm mixing on this Zelda Wave project. And you know, in the future, I, I can't run Pro Tools and do this because of the way my system is set up. But for producing and mixing like this, I can do this all the time. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. Really appreciate you. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Okay. Goodbye.